So this is a video of an HP touchpad running Android 2.2.1. As you can see, this is an HP touchpad. I just bought this two days ago. If you turn it on, it shows an Android lock screen. So just unlock it here. Now it's turned upside down again. So this is showing the home screen, nothing's been done to it. If you go into the applications, you see the applications, there's some developer tools that I'm going to go into. This is seems to be a test product by Qualcomm. So if you go into the developer tools, um, it shows a bunch of different things. Uh, development settings, pointer location, etc. You go out, go back to here. There's all the other apps. There's also this thing called NeoCore. It seems to be something that is running to show the display capabilities. Um, it has everything else. I'm just going to show you how the web browsing is working on here. So you can click the web browsing application, go into the browser, going into google.com. Going into hp.com. So the Wi Fi connectivity is working perfectly. As you can see up here, there's also the notification bar. It's all up showing different things. You can see if you hold the home button, the home button down. Or sorry, the home button. If you hold it down, it pops up the menu on the bottom. The menu. If you just hold it once back, it goes back in the pro in the web page. This is working the same way on all the apps that are in. The touchpad, so I will exit out of here. It's showing a power controller. You can also add all your other widgets if you want based on whatever's there. So, I'll just show you this is the same thing that was posted earlier online. It's just I'm a different person, different user. Bought this touchpad in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, and I am currently in College Station. Going back to the apps.